Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's Steve here. And today we're diving deeper into how Luna and Apollo combine to unlock seamless and creative workflows. We'll explore what's new in Apollo X Gen 2 and revisit some standout features of Apollo and Luna that make this duo one of the most powerful setups you can have in the modern studio. First up, let's talk about one of the coolest new features for 2024, Assistive Auto Gain. This new feature makes it easier than ever to dial in the perfect level when working with supported Unison plugins. With Assistive Auto Gain, the system automatically adjusts gain to optimal levels when using Unison plugins like the legendary Neve 88RS, 1073, and 1084, or the API Vision Channel Strip and its legacy counterpart. Now, I find this feature incredibly useful when I'm getting ready to record myself. I simply activate auto gain, perform a short pass of what I'm about to record, and trust the Apollo to do the rest. Imagine saving time and avoiding clipping, just focusing on your creativity while Luna and Apollo handle the technical details. Now, let's watch auto gain in action. First, we activate auto gain and choose our listening duration. We can choose to apply our gain while listening or after listening. Once we set our peak target, we're ready to click start. Gain will automatically be adjusted once our signal crosses the listening threshold. Now we're ready for tracking. Another major addition this year is the ability to add a subwoofer to your setup with integrated bass management. Now you can fine tune your monitoring system to get that perfect low end response across your entire mix. It's easy to manage right inside of console by accessing the monitor controller section of UAD console, choosing your configuration for your monitoring mode and clicking enable. From here, you can quickly dial in the perfect bass response by selecting your crossover frequencies and trimming your speakers or subwoofer in the utility menu. And speaking of getting your monitoring just right, arriving in Q4 of 2024, Apollo Monitor Correction is now powered by Sonarworks. This ensures your listening environment is fully calibrated and precise, giving you professional grade accuracy in any space. Monitor Correction is easily calibrated by creating a new speaker profile and sound ID reference. Follow the on-screen prompts and sound ID reference to measure your listening position. Then apply the measurement profile to your Apollo. Having so much control over the response of my monitoring system without any latency has improved the quality of what I'm recording before I even hit the record button. I now have a clearer picture of what my signal sounds like without any extra coloration from my uncalibrated or untreated room. Now let's not forget the existing features that already make Luna and Apollo a game changer, like ARM mode. Accelerated real-time monitoring mode, or ARM mode, is a deep hardware, DSP, and software integration feature inside of Luna that allows you to achieve the lowest possible latency while recording with UAD plugins in real time. With ARM enabled, I'm able to effortlessly track vocals, create a cue mix, and utilize time-based effects via ARM enabled buses, even with very large track counts. And when I want to add and perform with a virtual instrument, I can enable ARM for that track as well and perform just the same. Whether you're tracking in a high latency session or recording virtual instruments, ARM mode allows you to achieve the lowest possible latency while recording with UAD plugins in real time. Sometimes it helps to always be able to monitor your live signal sources particularly when you get into overdubbing, where you need to hear the playback audio just before punching into a particular spot in a track. Now that's where I prefer to call in console tracking mode. Console tracking mode allows you to use console for live channel inputs and prevents Luna from automatically muting and unmuting console channels when recording. Essentially, all inputs remain live and console works as it previously did while Luna is running. This allows you to hear playback audio before punching in, and it automatically mutes the playback audio when you start recording. Simply choose console tracking mode from the transport menu, arm the track for recording, input monitoring is not required here. When we queue up audio playback, we'll hear our live signal and playback at the same time. 
Once we punch recording in, the live signal takes over for an easy overdubbing experience. Hey, let's take a look at this line real quick. Uh... Step up your game, or you'll be sitting on the bench all along. I love that line, but would you mind giving me another option, maybe ending up rather than ending down and falling down at the end of that line? Okay. All right, cool. Let's hit it. Yeah, great job. That was awesome. One feature that's incredibly useful during production is Luna's ability to manage and store your Apollo's channel state on a per track basis. That way, when you build a chain on a particular channel, you can recall the plugin chains once you rearm the track. This makes future fixes and overdubs a breeze without the need to manually write down or recall settings, saving you time to be more creative. Additionally, Luna intelligently manages your DSP when combined with the power of UADX plugins. When you load a UADX native plugin and arm a track, Luna automatically converts the plugin to the UAD2 accelerated plugin equivalent and releases the DSP when you turn off record enable. So you're never needlessly using DSP in the background, making your recording system even more powerful than ever. And finally, Built-in dedicated cue mixing allows you to send custom monitor mixes to performers with ease, giving you total control of their headphone mix without affecting the main output. This is a must-have when you're working with artists in the studio. Watch how quickly we can dial in a headphone mix so we can get the most from our artist. All right, Kat, let's go ahead and get your vocal uh, level dialed in. How, how's your vocal sitting in your headphones? Uh, it's a little low. All right, cool. Let's bring it up a little bit. Yeah, one, two. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. All right, great. Uh, let's bring in a little bit of the Vox reverb here. Yep, one, two, yep. You'll never be a big dog, baby. Sounds good. All right, cool. I'm also going to bring in a little bit of a slapback echo for you. Let's uh, bring a little bit of this in for you. You can't be my rock if you ain't got... Oh, that sounds good. Great. Okay, I'm going to start playback, and as I bring in the track, just let me know, just call it out when it's sitting just right in your headphones. Okay. You're a great big man up top. That sounds good. And you sure can dance. In you. All right, how's everything feeling in your headphones? It sounds, everything sounds great, but could we just get a little bit more acoustic? Yeah, absolutely. Easy. Uh, same thing. I'm going to roll playback and just bring a little bit in. Oh, there it is. Happy with that? Yeah. It's, yep. Sounds good. Awesome. So, there you have it. The 2024 updates for Luna and Apollo bring even more power, flexibility, and precision to your studio setup, whether you're tracking, mixing, or mastering. If you're not already using this ecosystem, now's the perfect time to jump in. Be sure to submit your feedback for Luna in the top right corner. And as always, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the Universal Audio channel for more studio tips and tricks, and let me know in the comments what your favorite new feature is. See you in the next video. Cheers.